y'all today i decided i need some lip gloss that's what i decided because my lips is dry okay so we back but anywho so today i'm gonna be running like a couple of errands i already went to class this morning i got another class at like 3 30 so i'm trying to run some errands like in between and yeah i picked up me a drink from duncan y'all i haven't had a duncan in so long i've been on my starbucks key and they got like these protein omelet bites type things which i'm gonna try to hopefully it's not nasty because i'm not a big fan of all the duncan foods but anywho right now um i'm about to go to walmart and then i'm going to um oh yeah yeah, so I'm getting my nails done later today and as you can see I got SNS on my nails and it's looking real raggedy I'm ready to take these off because I hate having my nails like not done like with this big space in between the cuticle I don't like that so I'm about to go get these taken off because I actually get my nails done later today we're gonna figure out my nails later which nail design I want but I think I'm gonna go for something with black and I usually don't do black so it's gonna be real different for me anywho let's go <laughs> All I got was this tripod because literally I broke the one that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. He don't watch my videos like that, so or he watch them, but he ain't gonna watch this, so I could say that. But he don't know, but I broke it. I didn't want to order it on Amazon because low key, y'all, my apartment complex, like I don't know what they be doing with my packages, but I don't know how I'm gonna keep ordering clothes. But I'm gonna have to order stuff like slowly because I feel like I be ordering seven, eight, ten different things, and then like I only have like four of them. So I'm gonna just stop ordering so much at one time because yeah, so I keep track of it. Anywho, y'all. Okay, so now I'm about to go to the next one to get these nails soaked off. We're about to go around this little shopping area that I'm in and we're about to see if we can find a nail salon cause like, I feel like nail salons are literally in every crook and corner of every city. So I know it has to be a nail salon in this corner. Told y'all. So y'all, I'm back home. My nails are completed. Y'all, she just took off the SNS and then cut them. They look real good. Everybody does like my natural nails, so always tells me that my nails are really pretty. I don't even know what good nails look like, so that's kind of cool that they've said that. But oh, let's go ahead and pick out my nail. I do want my nails to be like medium short. So these are my options, and I told y'all I was gonna try black. These are one of the options. This is black with like the dots and stuff. I think that's really fire. And then, or I could do like a black French tip, or I was thinking about doing this because this is really different it's like just like black and white which i thought was really really cute and unique this is my bougie option you know real cute but if I hey y'all so i didn't even show y'all my nails yesterday but these are my nails and just know i didn't get nothing i said i was gonna get like something totally different so these are the nails they are really stinking cute it's like a brown what's well, an army green brown uh what are they calling it like sweater texture whatever y'all know what i'm talking about but it's real cute so i really like new nails like i was gonna get the black but honestly y'all the new I'm gonna do it every time and it did what it had to do i don't really like loud nails and i don't even know if black is loud but i never had it before might get black next time but i'm about to go to the gym as you can see i got these new tights i was gonna share with y'all on my next haul i was like I, I need some tights and none of the tights like I got a whole bunch of workout shorts and no tights These are the tights. They just look like this and they're from Shein I'll link it down below or whatever. If y'all see my trash can, we about to take it out, so it don't even matter. I just unlocked the cold, like the whole entire secret to this workout stuff. So let me give y'all a little backstory. So when I first came to college, like my freshman year or whatever, y'all, I was working out. You know, I loved it. Like I was falling in love with working out. I always would go in there consistently. I felt like I didn't really have a reason to. I was honestly just doing it just because of how it made me feel. But now that I actually need to work out, it's like something in me that doesn't like staying in there as long as I used to stay in there because I used to stay in there for like probably like a good hour hour 30 minutes but now when I be going or for the past like let's say a month or two ago like I will only want to stay in there for like a good 30 minutes and I'm out like I do not I was not really messing with the gym like that so TikTok is a powerful tool when the new year started or whatever everybody was looking up workout resolutions or whatever and this one girl that i seen on TikTok she ended up on my for you page I don't know I just went crazy into her page she was listing like pre-workouts or whatever I was like I never dabbled into pre-workout like at all and one popped up and it said Jolly Rancher Watermelon y'all 
that's all I needed to see. I was like, okay, so I'm gonna try a pre-workout and we're gonna see how it works. So that's what I have here today. It is pre-workout. This is the Beyond Raw Lit. And this is the Jolly Rancher blueberry flavor or blue raspberry. Because they didn't have watermelon at the Walmart that I went to. And I made the wrong decision because I watched this girl on YouTube and she be dry scooping hers. When I tell y'all I thought I needed to go to the hospital, I read that basically like it gave me like a tingling feeling all throughout my whole body like i've never felt like that ever before and if you want to feel like that just take a dry scoop and it's not going to harm you or anything so anywho like i was saying i've tried this twice the first time i've tried it obviously like my body felt tingly so it was like a eh experience but the last time i did this y'all oh my god i went in that gym and when i said when i went in that gym i went in that gym and i didn't want to leave like i literally did not want to leave so this is what happened y'all i was in the gym and it was me and it was this boy beside me on the treadmill we started both at the same time i don't know what speed he was going but it had to be the same speed as me because we was running the same and we both started at the same time and when i tell you he stopped before me and i kept going for another five minutes that's how i knew that's how i knew this pre-workout was lit i was like oh so they got me like that when i tell you it's in this it's literally in this if you need the energy it's in this and i don't really know all the health effects of pre-workout but um yeah girl i'm gonna keep drinking it though cheers to getting this body right I wanted to check in with you guys. I'm in a bed and editing and stuff. Ooh, why they got those lines? One of my new faves that I've been watching. Well, Paul's sometimes be like kind of repetitive when it comes to editing. I like to reward myself with like a YouTube video between every like every piece of item or whatever. So one of the new people that I've been watching is Miss Susu. I know my TV's so small. Be quiet. No, me. No ma'am. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. BM, is that you? my glasses because i like my glasses they make me look like smart and educated period but um today's a new day and we're about to get some work done because it is definitely a work day there are some things that need to get done like i have to finish editing this video it can be uploaded at at three i think we're gonna do three today and then i'm gonna post a picture too hopefully y'all like the picture because but i'm gonna post a picture today and i need to upload a video today and then also i have some depop orders that i'm gonna get out and then i want to do something else today something fun but i don't know what we should do i got all on my shirt Ooh, how ridiculous i'm gonna put on my teddy ever since i got this in one of my hauls it really keeps me cozy i think i'm about to go out into my office area i haven't been in here in so long it's just giving open up some lights yeah my hair looks a hot mess like literally a, a mess i think i'm gonna show y'all how i edit my thumbnail once my computer comes up this morning i'm drinking my liquid iv which is like five bottles of water in one and then oh my god anywho and I got this, a smoothie. And I got it from Sam's Club. They got like a 24 pack of these for like $10. So I'm not finished making my video, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how I do my thumbnail. Now, when I do my thumbnail, or this is for a thumbnail for a haul, to be more specific, I will do little videos on my phone to, um, one, put on the screen, and secondly, so I can use it for my thumbnails. So basically, I will scroll through the video. Usually when I'm doing this, I'll pose and then wait for like a couple of seconds so that I can get like a clear shot so it won't be like a whole bunch of movement so 
I'll like screenshot like at least two. Low key, these pictures look a little blurry. Yo, my laptop be telling me it's people birthday and I don't even talk to those people. I don't know how people birthdays be getting inside my, but I know how, <laughs> but I do not care. One thing I'm right now that I'm trying to work on is keeping the screenshot quality good. These are the pictures or the screenshots that I got. We're gonna move into canvas and so we do this a lot. So I just started a brand new one. I've noticed people like when I use the background of like an apartment complex. So so I have this one, that one. I'm gonna put this up here. Make this the size of the screen template, of course. And then I will put a shape over it like that. Make it the size of the screen. I usually go for like a gray. Put the transparency down. I'm gonna do 60. And then I go on my cell phone. I basically take all these pictures that I screenshotted, airdrop them to my laptop. And then once it airdropped, I really drop all those in here. The next step is to click each picture. You're going to tap edit image, background remover. And then I do it for each picture. And I do a pretty good job of removing the background of each picture. Alright, so all these are completed play around with it to see which ones i like to be in the lineup so i'm about to get back with y'all whenever i figure that out okay so i did it and it's not that clear so the last thing that i did was just type in transparent logo whatever logo you're looking for place it behind here for like positioning i don't know if y'all know like you can move it forward or backwards so to the front will look i don't know if you can really see but the words are in front so I just move it to the back. And then go over here to text, the text that I use. This one, so boom. Go over here and group them because they're grouped together. Like how this, I just usually do hall, make it white, and then I'll put some lift to it so it can be kind of gray behind it. It look dark to y'all. It just looks so dark to me. That's pretty much what I do. But you wanna always make sure that your thumbnail is quality because at the end of the day, like that's the first thing that people click on. I'm about to go ahead and edit, finish editing this video. And it's about to be 12 o'clock. Let's time myself. I think I can get it done by one o'clock. <laughs> and i changed something up i ain't gonna do it to this one but the next ones i do i'm really trying to think outside the box because it's giving dull just something different something new something fresh that the internet has not seen yet i don't know what it is but i'm trying to figure it out but anywho i finished the vlog and or the video and it's one o'clock if y'all don't know i sell stuff on depop i have two orders i keep all my clothes that i'm selling on this rack so they don't get mixed in with other stuff you've probably seen this in the haul it's also in one of my instagram pictures a lot of these clothes y'all that i be in having in these hauls like after i take my pictures in them most of the time they get sold and usually it's for like a cheaper price than what you would buy it on the website i keep these little envelopes and i like this purple lavender color that i got i'm about to just package this that into this and watch it fit y'all y'all don't think it's gonna fit but watch it fit i just got a message on depop so they're asking about these shoes which is some shoes that i bought on accident off brand easy slippers but they got like fur in the inside she says do they run big or small i'm about to go on their care site and see what they say the first comment literally says size down but i'm about to go try them on my feet real quick if i wear a nine and a half and i fit the nine what does that mean if you were nine and a half you fit a nine that means that they run small not big no that mean they run big if they fit my foot and i wear nine and a half that mean they run big no 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 if the east is a nine and you wear a nine and a half run small that don't make sense if they run small then okay i'll just i'll just let you google it dimitri if i wear a size six and those shoes is a size six size seven, and they were seven, too big seven. that means they run small no, no, no. So we're about to go pull off these packages, but I just wanted to say one last thing that's about Depop because I know a lot of people, they try to sell things on Depop and I'm being real with y'all. When I first ever put something on Depop, like nothing I put on Depop ever sold. But I'm gonna tell y'all the key so that your items get sold. The two things that I always do is I literally 
go into the app and you can resave an item so every time you resave an item like it bumps to the top of the list so when people search for that item your item will be one of the first things they see in the search so basically throughout my day or like whenever like i'm just on my phone board or whatever i'll just go into the depop app and literally resave all of my listings so that it can go to the top of the searches or whatever and then my second tip is basically well obviously like you have to have good quality pictures and stuff like that but keep note of that too a picture of it by itself a picture of it on you and sometimes you can do a picture of it on the website or whatever but just make it look good but anywho my second tip is like posting daily so like every day i'll post a new item or at least I'll try to, like one or two, but I usually do one. I used to do like two items every day. Y'all, I was selling, selling when um, I was doing two items every day, but yeah. Those are my two tips. Just be active on the website and literally they will pay you for it. They gonna make sure they promote your stuff. So y'all, I done came back home and been in this bed. I'm over here trying to plan what I'm gonna do for my birthday. I think I wanna go to Houston. But I'm looking at everything. Like prices and things, Airbnbs and stuff. But the only thing is like, it's only gonna be like three days. So it's like, is it even worth it? You know? I was even thinking like going on like a cabin trip or whatever. But at the same time, I wanna be somewhere bougie. I wanna give bougie vibes. I don't wanna go to no Atlanta. So I'm really trying to figure it out. And then I even thought about doing like a photo shoot but it's like okay i'm gonna do all that take some pictures post it and then say it's my birthday like what else you know i could do my own photo shoot for my birthday so i'm just trying to think of ideas if y'all really love me y'all give me some birthday ideas because i don't know where i want to go but the girls on youtube got me want to go to houston so that's why i really want to go to houston but i've been seeing new york a lot lately i just want my boyfriend to plan my trip but I'm like kind of like a controlling person so I want everything to be how I want it to be and I don't want to be disappointed so I'm gonna just go ahead and plan it for myself. I forgot about COVID y'all. Mm, does that mean nothing for my birthday? I don't know. I'm gonna do something. I don't care. I'm gonna do something. It's literally two days since I last recorded but anywho I just wanted to say bye you guys because I'm about to start another video after this clip. Cause I'm about to get my hair done but I just wanted to say bye and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video make sure you chat with me down below and hit the like button and thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>